to explain to me the concepts of concentration, being concise, and not meandering away from my sentence and escaping into a world of dolphins that talk, mermaids that walk, conversations that rhyme, and an ocean full of slime. He said two words to me, two words that struck me, that shed more light than the tube light my mom switches on every morning at 6 a.m. That truly gave me the gist of his advice. Shut up. <laughs> Clearly it didn't work very well. Coming back to my speech, my topic isn't about being succinct. Clearly I'm no one to judge. It is about focus, competence, fear and failure. I watched tons and tons of TED Talks and I was still unable to come up with a good topic. And let me tell you, writing isn't hard. Choosing, as I've come to know, however, is. <sighs> Choosing, as I've uh, come to know, however, is. So I thought of a supposedly effective method to come up with a topic good enough to penetrate your thoughts and leave you flabbergasted, astounded, dumbfounded, bowled over, stunned, stupefied, floored, and also to reach the minimum time limit. <laughs> I started writing uh, speeches on different topics, hoping I'd get somewhere. My mind worked overtime, thinking of different topics and their subsequent subject matter, all while trying to beat the fear of failure away. Finally, it came to a point where I deleted all my drafts, because it was starting to drive me crazy. I spent so much time worrying about writing a good speech and submitting it on time, which I couldn't, by the way that I fruitlessly started twirling on different topics, none of which I managed to complete. So I gave up and started writing the first thing that came to mind. And I didn't stop midway to start another topic. I didn't pause to rant to a fellow speaker about my inability to write. I didn't look up weird sounding words on the dictionary. And more importantly, I did not watch a YouTube video telling me which Disney princess I'd be. Rapunzel. <laughs> this leads me to now, ladies and gentlemen. The purpose of this talk is that I might have saved some time had I focused on one topic and bettered it. I would have just submitted it on time too. What I'd really like to say, fellow human beings of the 21st century, is that we spend so much time thinking about failure that we spend less actually doing something about it and eventually end up doing everything at once. A recent research explored the relations between fear of failure and procrastination. Not surprisingly, the results showed that higher scores in fear of failure predicted higher scores in procrastination. Studies say that this may further lead to major health conditions, mainly stress, anxiety, and depression. At first glance, it may not seem too bad. Fear is essentially a part of being human and is sometimes even necessary to push us in the right direction. <coughs> but it is the long-term fear that we should fear. No pun intended. Let me give you an example. There was once a man who loved painting. He was good at it too. One day, he saw a poster for an upcoming exhibition and decided to take part in it. The night before the big event, however, he had nothing to show. He was too scared to trust his abilities in paint. He then went to the exhibition empty-handed. That man was Ramesh. Who is Ramesh, you ask? I don't know. And neither do you. We all have been Ramesh at some point. I know I have. And it is okay to sometimes feel scared or anxious. But know that you are the only person who can make yourself who can prevent yourself from establishing a perpetual fear of engaging in activities that require you to delve into unmarked territories and fresh experiences. There are several ways to deal with this. The most obvious is to be optimistic. Now this does not mean that you give up on work and rely on hope. It is important to set realistic goals and standards for yourself and also to objectively analyze progress. Another way is to think of the worst possible outcomes so that you may prepare for plan B, or even plan C. There are 26 letters in the alphabet, 
and infinite numbers too. Now picture this. Ramesh realized his mistake. And instead of drooping over it, he decided to fix it. So he worked day in and day out, hour after hour, and he finished his masterpiece. He then sold it on Amazon and became a millionaire. <coughs> to be Ramesh or not to be, your call. Thank you.